Welcome to lesson 9.2. Uh, this lesson discusses graphing rational functions. Uh, first, when we graph a rational function, we need to identify the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Now notice that this uh, particular example has no x in the numerator, so um, we need to find the horizontal asymptote a little bit differently depending on that version, if you'll remember from the previous lesson. But our vertical asymptote is always going to be the value that makes our denominator equal to zero. So I'm going to set this value equal to zero, and I'm going to solve for x, and when I do, I'm going to get negative two-thirds. And then my horizontal asymptote is going to be my k value. So there's nothing added here, so I'm going to think of it as a plus zero. So y equals zero. And now I'm going to sketch those two values, those two um, horizontal and vertical asymptotes, uh, get those lines in there. So there's my horizontal, and my vertical is at negative two-thirds, so I'm going to do my best to uh, get that estimated in there. I'm going to kind of eyeball it. And then from there, I need to pick a couple of values to go on my table. So I'm going to focus on my vertical asymptote. I'm going to pick a couple of points on the right side of my vertical asymptote. So if I'm at negative two-thirds, I might want to pick um, zero and one maybe another one too. And then I want to pick some numbers to the left. So maybe negative one, negative two, and negative three. And if I plug those values in, I should uh, be able to put in each number for x and get my y value. And once I've evaluated my table of values, plugged in my numbers for x, I can plot the points and I should always have two branches. Um, and in this case, my branches are uh, in quadrants uh, two and four there. So now let's practice uh, identifying uh, a graph given a, a function, and we're going to see which one of these graphs matches with this function. And we're going to use asymptotes, and we're going to use uh, information about the graph in order to match it up. So first of all, we'll notice that there's an x in both the numerator and the denominator. So uh, for this particular function, my horizontal asymptote is going to be 6 over 2. So y equals 6 over 2. Well, that's going to be 3. So that's my horizontal asymptote. My vertical asymptote is whatever makes the denominator equal to zero. So when I set it equal to zero and solve, you can do the algebra. I get negative five for my uh, vertical asymptote. So if I look at these graphs, which one has a vertical asymptote at negative five and a horizontal asymptote at positive three? It has to be this one right here in the middle. That's the only graph with those asymptotes, so this must be the one that matches. Now let's graph an example in that form. So you'll recall if there's two x's in the problem, then my horizontal asymptote is going to be uh, the coefficients of those x's. So y equals 3 over 1, or y equals 3 is my horizontal asymptote. My vertical asymptote is going to be whatever makes that denominator equal to 0. So x minus 2 equals 0. We're going to get a vertical asymptote at 2. So now I'm going to plot those asymptotes here on my graph at 2 and 3. And then I'm going to pick a couple of numbers on the right side of my vertical asymptote. So if my vertical asymptote is at 2, I'm going to pick a couple numbers like 3, 4, and 5. And then I'm going to pick a couple numbers on the left side of my vertical asymptote. It's this number right here that tells me what to pick. So a couple numbers below 2 would be like 1, 0, and negative 1. And again, I'm going to plug those into my calculator and get my y values. And once we have our values plugged in and we figured out what y is by plugging in those numbers for both of the x's in the problem, we get this table of values. And when they're plotted, we'll see that we have our two branches here, um, one in quadrant 1 and the other in quadrant 3. So this is how we graph these simple rational functions. And the last thing we're going to do is look at this graph and write an equation that could model it. So the first thing I'm going to do is identify my vertical and horizontal asymptotes. And we can see that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 4 and a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. So the easiest way to go about this, the first equation I can write, is in hk form. So I know I'm going to have some number on top. We'll just put a 1. But then I know that if I have a 4 for my vertical asymptote, that's going to have to make my denominator equal to 0. So if I think about it, 
x minus 4 would work. It would give me a vertical asymptote of 4. And then my k value is 1. That's my horizontal asymptote. So that's one way that I could write this equation. And the second way that I could write this equation is to put it in the other format. So I'm still going to have x minus 4 in the denominator. That'll give me my vertical asymptote. But then up on top, I want to have some x value so that when I use my coefficients, 1 and 1, I still get a horizontal asymptote of 1. So if I just stick an x up on top, that could work. And again, there's many, many ways you could write an equation that could be what uh, graphs this graph. But these are just two of the many that you could have written. Made with DoodleCast Pro.